Afternoon, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going through how you can caption and add subtitles to your YouTube shorts, Instagram reels and TikToks for free without using the janky built-in ones and get full customization over it. Let's jump in. Okay, so this is nice and easy. We're gonna be doing it in Premiere Pro because that's the editing software that I use. I'm sure there is alternatives for the other editing softwares. However, I don't use them. So we're gonna be doing it in Premiere Pro today. Before we jump in, there are apps you can use to add captions with a bit more uh, customization to your YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikToks. However, I was gonna use one this week, and as I went to export it, I realized you have to pay for it. And I was like, no, I'm not paying for it. I pay for enough editing software. So looked into it, found out how to do it in Premiere Pro, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. So we are in Premiere Pro right now. This is a POV video that will probably be out by the time you see this one. This is in Chinatown, London. So we're gonna be using this intro clip here as our um, clip that we're gonna caption. So I'll show you what it is. It's me introducing the video. I'm filming this down a random alleyway, but POV Street Photography, Sony A7 III, Sam Samron, Tamron, 70 to 180 millimeter, nighttime, London, let's go. That's the clip that we are going to be subtitling or captioning in this video. So for the sake of the example, you don't need to do this. You don't need to put it into a new subsequence and you don't need to crop it. Uh, for the sake of we're making a TikTok or Instagram Reel or YouTube Short here, I'm just putting it into vertical 16 by nine format. Um, and then we're gonna make it look pretty specifically for those platforms. I'm working out of the learning workspace. I know that's kind of weird. It's just because that's the one I customized when I wanted to set up my workspace. This is how I like it laid out. But we're going to go over to captions over here. It's going to bring up this workspace. Okay, so what we're going to do, you can put this into a new sequence if you want to put it into a new sequence um, to keep everything nice and tidy. Or if you want to set in and out points, you can transcribe sequence here, but then select transcribe in point to out point only. We're going to leave that off because the only thing in this sequence right now is the one clip we're going to transcribe. But you, that is an option there in case you don't want to be making loads and loads of subsequences if you want to split up because obviously you might use this for other purposes than reels tiktoks instagram shorts instagram shorts youtube shorts so in this section here audio analysis audio on track mix or you can select the specific track if you've got multiple tracks there you can select the one you want to transcribe i'm gonna leave it on mix because there's only one in this obviously i want this to english um uk to be honest i want it on english uk um i'm not gonna transcribe it in and out point Currently, this one's grayed out because we haven't got an existing transcription. If you'd already transcribed once and you added another clip and you want to transcribe again, you can merge it together. Opt in to recognize when different speakers are talking is another option you can use if you're doing like an interview or something. I'm not going to use it for this, but it's an option you have. Hit transcribe. So that is now going to make a transcript of your entire clip or into your entire sequence. I'm just going to quickly pause here and jump in. If you're finding this in any way helpful, please do a thumbs up down below because it'll massively help me out and it'll push this out to other creators who will probably benefit from this information. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Once you've got the transcript, you can move on to the next part. So it has transcribed my clip. You can see here it follows. It knows exactly when you're saying what and it follows it around. However, what you're immediately going to see is it's not the right words. It depends how clear your audio uh, feedback is so when I've done this for my shorts and my reels and TikToks, I've recorded it on my phone and I've recorded it quite close and it's picked up my audio really well. I haven't had to change any of the wording. This is obviously struggling a little bit because it was a busy night street because there's like a busy street behind me. It struggled to pick up a bit, so we're going to edit what I've said. We're going to get rid of and after filming this. 2,000 years late. Boom. So there you go. We have our transcript of our video. We've corrected the words and it's now good to go. As you can see though, it's not appearing as captions on my video. That is because you need to come up here and select this option here that says create captions. So once you've clicked create captions, this is the screen you're now presented with. We're going to create from sequence transcript. Uh, not going to create a blank track. We're going to leave all these defaults as they are. We're going to edit how they look after we've created the captions. You can see on the left here, it's given us our captions and it's split it up into different time periods. And you can already see on the video here that there is some captions. Also, you'll notice it has created a separate track up here, which is your captions track. So now we're going to select one of our caption tracks 
and we're going to start editing. So I want Arial bold, I want it a little bit bigger, maybe 60. The reason I'm left aligning instead of center aligning is because center aligned text is actually subconsciously harder for people to read. Because the starting point of the sentence changes, it's just harder for your brain. Like you won't notice it, but your brain has to work harder. And it's like one of them subconscious things. So like in like, so like with web design, you shouldn't have centered aligned text during web design because it subconsciously makes the website harder to read and makes the user experience less enjoyable. So I'm gonna left align this text. Right align is just, who, who the hell does right alignment? We're gonna do left alignment. We're gonna use the zoning here to position it down the bottom, but then you can use this padding so as you can see, if I drag that over, it moves us over to the um, right. I'm actually gonna move, use it to move us up. We're gonna put it about here. Now the reason you don't want it at the bottom of your screen is obviously you're making TikToks, YouTubes, Shorts, or Instagram Reels. And there's the little bit at the bottom. You've got your text will be cut off if you put it down there because there's the caption, the icons on, the, on TikTok, you've got all the profile picture and all the icons down the side there. So you wanna make sure you're positioning your text in a place where it's not gonna get cut off by any of the on-screen elements that we can't change. So I'm gonna have this nice, oh, that's a bit too high. There's a bit about there. That looks good. So that's adjusting the padding. Fill, I'm gonna leave as white, but the stroke I'm gonna put as red. Why not? And we're gonna up the stroke a tad. Okay, I tell you what, we're gonna put the strokes black because the red looks janky. But look, that makes just makes your text a little bit easier to read. You can add a background, a shadow, and you can play around with all the other options here. Once I'm happy with how the text is, and this is exactly how I want my text to look, and say this is a style that I'm gonna to want to implement across all of my reels and TikToks and YouTube shorts that I create in the future, we're gonna to go to track style, not click on it, and then create style, and I'm gonna call this real real tick tock youtube air shorts now remember back here where we were in transcript and we hit create captions style you can now find your style there so they will automatically generate these captions with that style in place so you've got to set this once and then you're done speeds things up so much in the future that styling that i've put on that first track has now taken effect across all of them this is some little, I don't know if it's a bug or not, but something I've noticed with um, creating captions in Premiere Pro is sometimes it adds this extra space there. So you can see the is like indented. So we're just gonna get rid of that. Oh, didn't mean to enter that. And just line up correctly. And that looks a hell of a lot better. So we're gonna export the clip. However, you need to make sure in the export settings, go to captions and burn captions into video. By default, this will be set to none. It's something I found out after I exported them, got on Instagram, uploaded it, and was like, wait, where are my captions? And then I found out that this was the thing. So, captions, export options, burn captions into video. You need to make sure that is selected, otherwise it will not burn your captions into your video, and your video will export without the captions. You have now created captions for your Instagram Reels, your TikToks, and your YouTube Shorts, it is now a lot easier for people to read and to understand. It promotes higher engagement on all those videos because people are, it gives them something to do effectively. It gives them something to read. And it just looks a hell of a lot more professional. Also, you've got a lot more customization this way than you do with the janky built-in ones. Like TikTok's ones, they're just, no, no. This is much better. So go put it into use. Go make some TikToks, some YouTube shorts, and some Instagram reels and tag me in them. Also, don't forget that if you're posting on Instagram or TikTok or even YouTube Shorts, use hashtag Luke Palms and I'm gonna be shouting out people at the end of my videos. In a few weeks time, we're gonna be, we're, I'm giving a few weeks to let people to start use the hashtag and then we're gonna be start shouting people out for using it. So go ahead and do that. And yeah, that is all for me today. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please drop a thumbs up down below. Massively help me out. Subscribe if you want already all the other stuff that YouTubers tell you to do, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to take the shot. Peace.